I'm going to show you some quick and simple tests to um, establish whether you've um, whether your battery and alternator are working um, as you would expect. The obvious uh, starting point for wanting to test your battery is maybe if you've had starting problems or electrical problems on the car, unusual behaviour, uh, low system voltage can also cause all sorts of problems with different sensors in the car so you may even get things that <clears throat> you would otherwise think were unrelated like airbag warning lights or anti-skid messages different engine management messages so um, so I'm going to show you these simple tests I'm going to be using basically a plug-in um, onboard diagnostics dongle uh, which is connected via Torque Pro um, to the phone and um, I'm using these dials which have highest and lowest value because um, it's going to be handy um, when you're measuring the voltages on the battery. It is actually the same test that you could conduct if you haven't got diagnostics but you've got a multimeter. If you just have your multimeter set on uh, DC volts uh, on the lowest setting there, see it's at 20 volts there, and you'd have the black lead in the uh, comm socket of your multimeter and um, the red lead in the volt socket and then you would just simply put your black multimeter lead on the negative battery post and the uh, positive multimeter lead the red one on the um, positive battery post and the figures are exactly the same the reason I'm doing it this way is that you don't even have to leave the car you can get all the information you need from uh, from just sitting in the car so the first thing, the important thing that you do um, when you're testing your battery voltage initially is you've got to make sure it's on a what I would call a cold battery and that's a battery that's been left either overnight or you know an hour or so after you've finished um, using the car in order to in order to get an accurate reading. If you do it too soon after the car's been running the battery could still have a surface charge on it um, which would give you an inaccurate reading so do it first thing in the morning or after it's been left for a while so I'm connected up um, to talk now and uh, to the diagnostics on the car and as you can see the battery voltage currently is 11.5 volts um, the ideal figure for a car battery for a 12 volt battery is 12.6 volts um, 12.4 volts would mean that the battery is still in decent condition uh, but just not perfect and anything from 12.2 volts or lower um, indicates that the battery is actually uh, technically discharged um, which means it's um, you know one of the cells inside the battery is failing so you need to so obviously on this we've got 11.5 volts so that says the battery is in very poor condition so you need to establish whether it's just a fault with the battery or whether it's a fault with the charging system with the alternator whether it's getting insufficient charge or in some cases if it's getting too much charge um, if you get in if the alternator's pushing out more than 15 volts for example that can uh, damage the internals of the battery so all I'm going to do is I'm going to start the car and you see the lowest value on the battery there. What we're going to do is watch and see what happens to that lowest value. Okay, so now we've got the, uh, the engine running, it's just at idle. And as you can see there, the lowest value went down to 8.4 volts from a good battery you're looking at a figure of around about maybe heading down into 11 volts somewhere around that so the fact that this battery has dropped as low as 8.4 volts says that the battery is in very poor condition the yellow figure though which is the live figure as you can see there we're actually getting 13.8 heading up to 14 volts so that's actually showing that the alternator is doing um, a fine job at the moment and uh, is providing more power than the battery has which means that there's no electrical load on the battery now the engine's running the alternator is actually doing all the work so um, so that's a good indication at the moment that the alternator is actually fine and it's the battery that's the problem so 
So all I'm going to do now, I'm going to increase the revs to 2000 revs and we're going to see what the battery voltage does now. And what you're looking for, the, on the alternator it has a voltage regulator which basically means that as, as your engine speed increases the alternator doesn't keep pumping out higher and higher and higher voltages. Uh, the voltage regulator will still maintain it, you know, a, a decent voltage uh, so it won't go above 15 volts. So I'm just going to give it 2000 revs and um, what we're looking for is that the voltage stays roughly the same and certainly not heading towards uh, the 15 volt mark. Okay, it's recorded its highest value now so as you can see there um, the voltage peaked at 14.3 volts at 2000 revs so that also says to me that the voltage regulator on the alternator is doing its job absolutely fine so as engine speed increases it's not kicking out an ever increasing voltage if the voltage had gone over 15 volts then that could then be causing the internal damage on the battery which would mean that your battery is cupped but also you need to change your alternator or at least the voltage regulator um, otherwise if you replace the battery with a dodgy voltage regulator exactly the same thing is going to happen again and you're going to cook the next battery so at the moment we're still looking at battery only being the problem the next thing, the next test we're going to do is to load up the electrical system there's nothing actually on, on the car at the moment so I'm going to turn on the fan, I'm going to turn on the radio heated seats, heated rear screen, headlights, main beam and what I'm looking for is the voltage is obviously going to drop um, but what I'm looking for is for the alternator to still be providing over 12.6 volts which means that the alternator is still providing all the power that the car requires and it's not asking anything of the battery so, uh, so I'm going to load up the system now and see what happens to the voltage Okay, so we've got everything on now, and as you can see, even though we're now really loading up the system with all sorts of things that would um, require a lot of the alternator, the alternator is still quite happily ticking over at just over 13 volts. So that shows me that even when the system is loaded up, the alternator is still doing its job absolutely fine so once again that's pointing towards the battery being at fault so I'm just going to turn off all the electrical load again okay so the final test then um, is I'm going to shut the engine off and what we're going to do is observe what happens to the battery voltage once the engine's turned off obviously it's going to dip down now a good battery um, once again would then level out at 12.6 volts um, we're going to see just how quickly the battery loses its voltage even after it's been charged with the alternator okay so as you can see now the battery voltage I mean it's just diving diving well below the technically discharged state of 12.2 volts and uh, it's probably going to carry on going down as well there we go we're down into the 11s now so that says to me as well that the um, even though the the alternator is providing sufficient power to the car and really it should then be recharging the battery the battery is unable to actually hold that charge and, um, and once the engine's off the battery dives below 12 volts down into the 11s so that says to me that the battery needs changing the alternator is absolutely fine and, um, and that is a very quick and simple way of working out whether you need a battery or an alternator or in the worst case scenario both and I hope you find that useful